task 14.89. Consider the reaction to A reacts to B. Is each of the following statements true or false? A. The rate law for the reaction must be second order. If the reaction is an elementary reaction, the rate law is second order. C. If the reaction is an elementary reaction, the rate law of the reverse reaction is first order. D. The activation energy for the reverse reaction must be smaller than that for the forward reaction. Statement A is wrong. You need more information if it is not an elementary reaction. A could react to B over several intermediates, which could change the weight law. Statement B is correct. If we talk about an elementary reaction, the weight law must be second order. The reason is that two molecules of A react to one molecule of B. An example for a reaction of second order is the reaction of two, of two molecules of nitrogen dioxide reacting to denitrogen tetroxide. Statement C must also be correct. The reason is the same like before. If we talk about an elementary reaction, then burst reaction must be first order, because B reacts directly into two molecules of A. The rate law of the inverse reaction of the example in B is also first order. Statement D is false. It depends on whether the enthalpy is positive or negative. In the chart below you can see that if the enthalpy of the forward reaction is positive, like you can see here, the, uh, the activation energy of the forward reaction is much higher than the one of the backward reaction, because the backward reaction because the enthalpy of the backward reaction is negative. If the enthalpy of the forward reaction is negative, like you can see over here, the activation energy of the forward reaction is lower than the one of the backward reaction, like you can see over here. Thank you for your attention. I hope my explanations helped you answering the questions.